Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have a Lenovo IdeaPad 120S. The exact model number used is the 14 IAP, but this should help you with any of the 14 series. I'm gonna show you how to get inside, access your CMOS battery in case you're trying to replace it or reset BIOS. So first thing guys, power down your computer the correct way, make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then gonna flip your computer over to access your bottom case screws. Now, as you see here, you have four screws along the bottom edge, three screws in the middle, and three screws along the top. After removing those screws, you're gonna take a small, flat, preferably plastic pry tool. I say that because plastic will scratch up your computer far less than a metal pry tool will. But take your pry tool and go across the seam all the way around and gently but firmly pry off your bottom case from the rest of your computer. Now, as you're doing this, be careful not to put the pry tool too far in. You could damage some internal components. Make sure to keep it on the outside edge. And if you get hung up in one spot and it doesn't seem to separate, then leave that alone, go to the other side and continue in the other direction. After you get your bottom case off, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now, as a side note, guys, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, I have it sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet go a long way to help you avoid damaging things in your computer. If you guys need any help with tools or supplies for your project, there'll be a link above, also below in the description, with all the tools and supplies that I would use in my shop for this computer, as well as all the replacement and upgrade parts for this specific model. Now, before I touch anything in a computer, I always either remove or at least unplug the battery to make it safer to work on. This battery, if you choose to remove it, is held down by five screws as noted here by the arrows. After removing those screws, you would unplug it from the motherboard here. As with any cables in a computer, it's best to avoid pulling on the wires when possible and instead just manipulate the plug itself. However, in this computer, this plug is very thin. I wasn't able to get my fingernails or a pry tool in there. And I was afraid that if I used a pair of pliers, I would actually slip and, and clamp down on those wires. So in this case, I had to grip the wires as close to the plug as I could get and wiggle that out, unfortunately having to put pressure on those wires. So just be careful when you're unplugging it. Also to get the battery out, if that's the way you're choosing to go, this ribbon cable as well as this ribbon cable is over the battery. So this one is actually stuck down by double-sided tape. You need to gently pry that off. And when you're operating clips like this, guys, be very careful. That black clip there is very breakable. And if you break it, you may never be able to find a replacement, which means the ribbon cable may never clamp down securely again. So the way to operate this is take a very flat pry tool slide it underneath from this direction from the bottom very carefully under the black clip and then pop it open it opens like a book cover you can see the hinges on top you pop this open the ribbon cable will release this ribbon cable here plugs in on this side and the black clip is on the opposite side it's on the left hand side so you would slide your pry tool under from the left and pop that one open to get that ribbon cable off Okay, so now that the main battery has been either removed or unplugged, it's safe to proceed deeper into the computer. The CMOS battery is located right up here. You can see it wrapped in yellow electrical tape near the top center of my screen. If you're trying to physically replace this battery, this is just held on by double-sided tape, so you can pop that off very easily. And again, as with wires here, don't pull on the wires if you can help it, but you can see the two grips on either side. You can get your fingernails in there, or a pry tool and take that out very safely. I'll have a replacement battery option below in that link that I told you about um, with all the replacement parts and supplies for this model computer. If you guys are here to reset BIOS and not to replace your battery, then you don't have to physically remove it. You can leave it there. All you would do is unplug it from here for 15, 20 seconds, and that should be sufficient to reset your BIOS settings. Keep in mind, if that's why you're here, in most cases that will not reset the BIOS password, that will just reset the BIOS system settings. So keep that in mind if that's why you're here. So that's the video, guys. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you do need to leave me a question or comment, please do. I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. 
To support the channel, please remember to like and share, subscribe if you enjoy this type of DIY tutorials, and for those of you that want to support the channel a little further, you can always leave a small donation, and there's a couple ways to do that. First, right below the video to the right hand side, you'll see the super thanks button. You can click on that. You can select a tip amount here. Second way, you can use your cash app. Find me at dollar sign PC helper. You can leave a dollar amount and you can even leave a little note. So thank you so much for watching guys and I look forward to seeing you on my next video.